you are getting worse at Overwatch 2. Now this might come as a shock to you because you've been watching a lot of videos, you've been actually focusing on your mechanical skill, and you've been trying to incorporate strategies into your games, but there's a common problem that a lot of players go through when they try to go through big amounts of improvement. A subscriber asked me this on Discord. When I decide to play a new character, I do really good, but then after watching videos about the character, I start to do really bad, and it gets worse and worse each time. Do you know what's causing this to happen? Now, this doesn't just happen with watching videos. This sometimes happens with coaching, and this can happen with things that are not Overwatch. And it seems very strange, right? Like you're trying really hard and you're learning a lot, and then when you go to try and apply the things that you know are correct, you know are better, then they don't work. They rebound, and then you start losing. And it feels like that you can improve because when you try to incorporate things that are supposed to make you win, you lose more, right? Now, the problem here is that when you're incorporating some new strategy or concept, unless you have the concept fully down and integrated into your play, initially, it's actually going to be worse than your normal play style. Let me give you an example. You're a Kirko one trick and you're someone who often plays behind your tank, heals them up. You're not really doing any damage at all, but you're playing super, super safe. And if you're ever in danger, you just, you know, Suzu yourself and you teleport away. And it just creates a situation where you have a lot of healing and you don't die a lot, but uh, you're not doing any damage. So you're not really carrying fights. The amount of impact that you have is capped because you're not going for what Kiriko is good at and what you should incorporate if you want to get better at Kiriko. You're just playing this really safe, passive heal bot Kiriko, right? Okay. Now you watch a video or you get coached or you get a VOD review and it says, hey, you need to be more aggressive on Kiriko. You need to take off angles. You need to bait out cooldowns, deal damage, get picks, and then also force enemies to flush you out, be very annoying, and always have a way to get out so you're still not dying. And you know all these things, so you try to apply them in your games, but you're slow in the uptake with your teleport. Maybe your mechanical skill isn't very good, and maybe you position a little bit too far initially, and all of these things line up to you actually feeding more than you did before. You're dying more. You're actually throwing the game completely even though it's in the pursuit of trying to get better. But that's the thing. Oftentimes, when you are trying to incorporate these things, the proper styles of play, the plays that are going to actually make you a better player, it's often not going to be a linear route to improvement. Oftentimes, you have small amounts of improvement and then slight dips followed by vast amounts of improvement. And I've actually seen this a lot through my coaching of a lot of different people. I would see players get a little bit overwhelmed. So maybe they would go on like a small loss streak trying to incorporate all the things that we covered but then once they got the concepts once they tried and applied them enough and failed in the pursuit of learning enough then all of a sudden they just started winning and winning and winning because now they actually can utilize what they've been trying to do it's not something that they are just attempting it's something that they are executing properly and this also goes hand in hand with something that can help you improve even quicker by yourself just playing the game if your goal is to improve and your goal is not just to climb because you got to understand that if you are just trying to climb like you're just trying to win every single game but your skill is not following with you then you'll reach a certain point where it'll be very hard for you to push past because your skill is not there what is required of you is not there so it doesn't matter if you win every game if you get to that point and you can't win because of your skill level but if instead you play for your improvement then your improvement will actually pull you up to the rank that you deserve over time now the way in which you could improve very very quickly is through targeted limit testing now the idea here is by pushing the bounds of what you can get away with in a game but evaluating the results critically so as an example, this has to do with flanking, this has to do with playmaking, whether you're going on and off angle on a Cassidy, or you're diving really aggressively in on a target. You see an opportunity for a gigantic nade, and instead of going the safe route, the route that will guarantee that you live or you heal up your ally, you go for the higher risk, high reward route, the route that requires you to not only identify a play, but execute it properly. Now, the problem is, just like before, in the pursuit of this, you probably will fail. There will be times where you try to go for, instead of the super safe blade, the 1k, 2k blade on the ground, one of the targets is the Flying Mercy. 
if you only ever go the route of least difficulty then when you're in situations where you have to pull out an insane play to win and you have to go above and beyond to win you're not able to so that's why limit testing is so good for your development as a player because after a play goes right or wrong you can evaluate what did i do right what did i do wrong do i need to be able to do this better do i play this differently next time and in what way these are things that you can actually apply to yourself to improve much quicker now i hope you enjoyed this video let me know if you have any questions about the concepts check out my private coaching in the description down below and i'll see you next time